The other very important reaction that we have in photosynthesis is the process of oxygen evolution. And this oxygen evolution takes place only in the photosystem too, and it takes place in what we call as the oxygen evolving complex, or what we call as the water oxidizing clock. And the function of this water oxidizing clock is very, very critical in determining the evolution of oxygen during the process of photosynthesis. And what we're going to do in this next slide is we're going to try and understand how does this process of the evolution of oxygen take place in the water oxidizing complex. So what we have seen earlier is that oxygen is produced as a result of the splitting of water. But how does that really happen? So what we have learned thus far is that your P680 is excited by light and once it's excited by light it gives you the excited P680 molecule and this excited P680 molecule passes off its electron to the primary electron acceptor called pheophytin and then pheophytin will then pass it to quinone resulting in what we call as the charge separation and then this will move on to the electron transport chain. Well, when that happens what we have is a condition where you have an electron hole which is generated due to the loss of the electron. When this happens, what we find is that your manganese that you have in the water oxidizing complex, this manganese will simply pass off its electrons. So the manganese that you have over here this manganese, which is in the zero oxidation state, this manganese will simply pass off the electrons that it has to your excited to your P680. And when this is passed to your P680, this movement of electron takes place through a specific amino acid called tyrosine. So what happens is manganese, the ground state gives off its electron to your P680 that you have over here. So P680 and it gives off this electron through the tyrosine uh, amino acid that you have. And when it gives off its electron, manganese then gets oxidized to give you the manganese plus one oxidation state. Now when that happens, manganese plus one oxidation state can give off another electron again through tyrosine because what happens is when P680 plus receives electron from manganese zero, that's the ground state of manganese, it receives the electron, this P680 is converted back and the electron is filled so P680 becomes P680. P680 plus becomes P680. Now when this P680 is, the, P680 is there, it is ready to receive another photon of light. When it receives another photon of light, then the entire process continues again. So you have the movement again from, of the electron from P680 to pheophytin, and then from pheophytin it moves to the electron transport chain and then what happens is we have another condition where P680 is electron deficient. When this happens, then your manganese, which is manganese plus one, this will give off another electron through the same process. And when it gives off another electron through the same process, what will happen is that this one will give off another electron to P680, that's the electron, and then it will change to the next oxidation state which is Mn plus 2. When you have Mn plus 2 then the, this electron from here will then fill up the electron hole and then this will revert back to its ground state. Then again you have another photon of light and this again will move through the entire process 
And when you have the generation of P680 molecule again, then what happens is Mn gives off another electron. So Mn plus 2 becomes Mn plus 3. And then when that happens, what you have a condition is that this electron again moves from here through tyrosine. And when it moves through tyrosine, it fills up the electron hole and this P680 again gets filled up and you have it ready to receive another photon of light. Now this continues four times. So when you have another electron from Mn3 plus is given again to P680 P6, uh, plus through tyrosine, then what we have is that manganese is converted from Mn0 to plus 4 oxidation state through these series of steps where it goes from Mn0 to Mn plus 1, Mn plus 1 to Mn plus 2, Mn plus 2 to Mn plus 3, Mn plus 3 to the final Mn plus 4. When it is in the Mn plus 4, the 4 oxidation state, then what happens is the water molecule that we have, this water molecule is split up or this water molecule is oxidized and as a consequence, what you have is the electrons which are generated. These electrons are then taken up by manganese. And as a consequence, when that happens, manganese plus 4 reverts back to manganese 0. And when it reverts back to manganese 0, then the entire process can take place again. And when manganese reaches its plus 4 oxidation state, then water again gets reduced. And when water, sorry, water gets oxidized, and when water gets oxidized, again it passes off its electrons to the manganese complex, and the entire cycle continues. And in this process, you have generation of protons, and also very, very importantly, you have the generation of the oxygen, which is a result of the movement of your uh, electrons to fill up the manganese complex that you have. So this, what we've seen, is what we call as the water splitting activity of the oxygen evolving complex, also what we call the water oxidizing clock. And this is the mechanism by which the process of electron transfer during the light dependent reaction of photosynthesis drives the splitting up of water to produce oxygen or rather drives the oxidation of water to give you oxygen. If you liked this video, then do not forget to like and comment. Subscribe to my channel to watch upcoming videos.